Lenny, your closets. Oh. Chore day in the Loud House is, well, a chore. Luckily, I've got a time-tested method of getting out of it. It turns out if you do a job really bad, the grown-ups will get frustrated and just do it for you. Lincoln? Lincoln! You gotta empty that bag before an ex- wearing a life jacket. In case of a water landing glide, we don't know how far she's gonna go. Okay, test run, one. All right, I'm gonna have to duck a little. Test run, successful. Robo, we know you're really not this mean. We know deep down that you have feelings. Bro, bro, feels nothing. We don't hate you. We know there must be some reason you act like this. How is your relationship with your father? Bro, bro's father, father worked, worked at, at mill. mill. Never had time for Bro, bro. Uh, well, that's not your fault, Bro, bro. We have time for you. And we're not going anywhere. Uh, nerds, bench press, muscle car. Bro, bro, losing bro energy. Your dad may not have loved you, but I do. Bro, bro, feels cold. What do you got? Okay, so what if I told you in Royal Woods there was the saddest guy in the whole world? I'm listening. He's super down on his luck. I like it. And he needs your help. Sold to the boy in the orange sweatshirt. Who is it? How you doing, louds? Nope. Yep. Flip! Flip was known as many things in the land of Royal Woods. A con man, a merchant of expired goods. That's a wax apple. And a buffoon. Flip likes him firm. I'm good. Uh, 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 Lincoln told us that, uh, that you needed some help. Oh, a small favor. Small. I need to pretend I'm married to your wife and that I sired all your children. We can explain. Wow. Cool place. Yeah, pretty swanky. What happened to all the stuff that was up here? We found a place for it. Let's check it out. Um, there's a rope in our way. Clyde, do you see these two young ladies on the list? Uh, is one of your names Lincoln or Clyde? No. I'm sorry. The list is spoken. Have a nice night, ladies. Seriously? Ping pong? Why not? How about you, Link? How's that burger treating you? artificial intelligence mode over rights conversational tones. Wow, Link, you've really been boning up on your meat trivia, huh? Good job, buddy. <sighs> Wait a minute. That's not Annie Pam. That's Milkshake Marty. We gotta go stop him. The officer told us not to get out of the car, and we're already one for speeding. I can't be accused of car getting outing. Give me the loudspeaker. This, this is Lincoln loud, loud speaking. Hey, I'm loud speaking, loud speaking on the loudspeaker. Awesome. If you're the real Auntie Pam, what kind of cake did I order on my birthday? Ah, 
birthday cake, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. That was a trick question. Auntie Pam doesn't serve cake. I've done it again! I don't know how much longer I can solve this bus. Are you almost here? Yes. I just have to do one last thing. Put on an entire fundraiser. <laughs> contribution to help save flips? Just because I make it look easy doesn't mean it is. I hate to burst your bubble, Lincoln, but I am also a man who makes plans. Are you saying you can do what I do? I am. Care to make it interesting? I'm listening. You take my place this weekend when I'm gone. And if you still think it's easy being me, we'll have another sleepover. And I'll do everything on your itinerary. Even the Spanish lessons. Absolutamente. Deal. I can be the man with the plan. I just need my own clever nickname. I am the guy who tries. Good luck. Good luck. There's absolutely no way Clyde's gonna pull this off. Trust me. Who's Clyde? You heard that? What's going on, Lincoln? I'll tell you what's going on. You, superstar. I've decided to become your manager. I'm Lincoln Loud. The manager with the planager. Your days of closet drumming are over because your new manager has booked you a gig with none other than the Bucket Bashers. What do you say to that, Clyde? <laughs> that was your practice bucket, Clyde, but... Okay. This isn't gonna work, Lincoln. We're running out of time. You have... Too many sisters. Well, that's it, Clyde? I just had another idea. Come with me. You need a cowboy player to go with your blaring solos. You need to stay awake. You need to know if your joke's actually funny. You need to practice telling the truth. You need your guinea pig to set a world record. Ugh. You need to practice your motivational speech. Let's do this! Yeah! You need to write your boyfriend a romantic text? Clyde can help you write it. He's the best at this stuff. I wouldn't say I'm the best. <clears throat> Bobby, how lucky am I that in this infinite universe, our souls exist in the same place at the same time? <laughs> You're gonna be good at this. Take in the spoils of our victory. Clyde has agreed to track the conference results as they unfold. Tonight, the parent teacher tracker 3800 is going to provide up to the minute projections for this contest. We've got microphones under the desk, cameras in the smart boards to provide real time information. What's at stake? Auntie Pam's banana split in a canoe. Yes, 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 yes. How do we get there? The Louds will need more good reviews than bad ones from the teachers. With nine reviews total, the magic number is five good ones. Okay. We're gonna do it this year. Three schools. 
eight teachers, 51 scoops of ice cream on the line. It's gonna be a close night. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Or should I say, a canoe full of ice cream.